Doctor Who's 60th anniversary is right around the corner. We know that David Tennant is obviously returning, but he's going to be facing off against a mysterious villain portrayed by Neil Patrick Harris, who we all know, we all know and love from Barney Stinson, from How I Met Your Mother, and many other things. And there's all sorts of rumors and theories out there as to who he could be playing. I've asked over on Twitter, what does everyone think he's going to be playing? I've asked for silly answers and for some genuine theories. So we're going to see, we're going to see what Twitter had to say. We've got some good responses. Uh, hi, my name is Aiden Green. I am half of the 50% Doctor Who podcast here on YouTube and anywhere that you can get your podcast every single Monday. Sometimes even more than that, you'll get a lovely podcast. We are reviewing all of New Who. We are almost there. We've been doing this for far too long. So uh, make sure you hit subscribe. We talk about all bits of news and we have fun. We have beers. We have a gin here and there. You know, we, uh, we like to have fun making this podcast and we do some bonus videos here on the YouTube as well, which is exactly what this is. So without any further ado, let's find out who Neil Patrick Harris is going to be playing in Doctor Who. He is playing Aiden Green. Yep. Thank you, Jacob. That's uh, that's me, and uh, Neil Patrick Harris is playing me. That obviously means that he looks like me, which is uh, gonna give me even more of a confidence boost. Everyone says the toy maker, but I propose the Balliard, especially the bit in the trailer where his outfit is similar to David. Now, I think this is a genuinely good theory because the Valiard, you know, he, he's a massive part of the sixth Doctor's era. He's, if you don't know, he plays a future incarnation of the Doctor's self, an evil incarnation. And so, so, and even in New Who, we've heard references to the Valiard as in it's in the Doctor's future. And we haven't seen him yet. Maybe we will one day. Maybe it'll always be one of those like mythical things that's in the back catalog of Doctor Who. The K1 robot. I, I don't even know if I could formulate a, a response to that. The, um... Yep. Yeah. I really don't want the character returning for the 60th to be the only one who said the N-word in the show. Excuse me? Did the Celestial Toymaker say the N-word in Doctor Who? That's not... Mmm. Mmm. Maybe this is his redemption arc. You know, he's seen the error in his ways and his backwards political views, and now he's, he's improved. It's the Toymaker new and improved. I like the theory that he is some NMD trying to fix the show by trying to recreate its golden era. It's really meta and so typical for Doctor Who. I can see this. I kind of like this. Um, I don't know how they would pull it off without being overly meta because it is extremely meta and I hate meta things. But I could... Uh, I don't necessarily think that this is going to be the way that it will go down. But I do like it as an idea and this does connect to another theory coming soon. He's the planet Klom. Once again, I don't, I don't know how to respond to this, but, uh, like, are you saying that Klom is an intelligent planet? Is it a life form? Or has maybe the toy maker or Neil Patrick Harris himself been turned into a planet? There's a lot to dissect here. Genuine theory, celestial toy maker, stupid answer, Neil Patrick Harris from the Harold and Kumar films. I'm gonna walk myself out right now because I've never seen those movies. Obvious theory is the toy maker, but my personal theory is that he's going to be playing a character who is aware of Doctor Who as a show. He's taking elements from throughout the Doctor's history and is putting them together to create his own idolized version of the show. This is what I was saying about a theory that, that would connect to the other one, a very meta theory here. And, Apparently, I've not read it myself because I'm not a comic book nerd, but apparently there is a Beep the Meat comic that's different from this StarQuest one that we've seen the different monsters that, that, that the 60th is supposed to be based around. Apparently there's another Beep the Meat comic where Meep sneaks into uh, to the BBC or something and, and there's a Doctor Who TV show and he's doing some, some meddling in a meta way there. And, and yeah, like the Doctor is a BBC character within that comic. Maybe this is something that they could go down. Um, maybe there is a meta side to it. I don't think that's what it's going to be. But I I wouldn't hate it if they got it right. The Valiard or the Black Guardian. Barney Stinson, he's suited up and everything. Thank you, Troy. You are legend. Wait for it. Susan! To clarify, she's not regenerated. He's playing Carolyn Ford. Yep, look, that's one of the theories of all time. Ian Levine. <laughs> Gonna see a sequel to this banger. But in Torchwood Series 2, Russell T Davies. Ian, no offense, you're not a journalist, so 
fuck off. I love Ross. The toy maker is the obvious example, but RTD may surprise us. Maybe a metaphor for a crazy fan. So a lot of people are thinking this like kind of meta vibe. It could be. It could be true. Josh Snare says the candy man. The Rani. Celestial toy maker. He deliberately made 13 regenerate into 10 to stop him communicating with Donna. Meanwhile, Shudi's doctor, who 13 should have become, is standard with the Guardian's edge. I don't necessarily understand the first half of this theory, but the second half, I like the idea that Shudi is stuck at the Guardian's edge, connects really nicely to the power of the doctor. He's chameleon! I think Neil Patrick Harris could be the Dream Lord and he's affecting the doctor. So Jodie Whittaker did actually regenerate into Shudi Gatwa in the power of the doctor, but everyone, including the doctor, is now seeing himself as David Tennant. Okay, look, that's a good theory. Once again, I don't think that this is one that's gonna go down. I think it's a pretty niche character, the Dream Lord. Personally, I, I think the Dream Lord works so well as just being in, in Amy's Choice in Series 5. Yeah, I don't want this one to become true, but, you know, we know how that episode left off. The Dream Lord was still around, so who knows? Can you announce that the Celestial Toymaker? Stupid answer, a regenerated Susan pissed off that the Doctor never came back. I like the idea of like a slasher movie, but it's Susan trying to take down the Doctor, like with lots of blood and lots of guts. That's my, uh, that's my like MA15 plus Doctor Who spinoff. Why is David Tennant trending again? He's always trending. I love the man and I love when he's trending, but I just don't know how you can be like the most, how you can just always be trending. So that is who everyone online seems to think that Neil Patrick Harris is gonna be playing. Sorry if I missed some of your responses. I agree, I think Neil Patrick Harris is gonna be the Celestial toy maker. I'm a sheep, what can I say? I'm sorry, I go with what the common theory is, that's just me. I think he's the Celestial toy maker and we're gonna find out in November and uh, we're gonna be making so much content throughout the year. We're gonna be doing so many more bonus videos up and coming, this is the first of many bonus videos to come because we wanna hit the 60th anniversary hard and celebrate it ourselves and hopefully provide you guys some content along the way as well. Thank you so much for watching and listening, and there'll be a new episode of the podcast coming this Monday where we review Extremis. Love ya. Dairy.